All right, all right, all right. Let's get this going. What's up, everybody? What's up, fellas? So more and more details is coming out about the situation. Uh, Ryan Field on Twitter just tweeted out. Um, well, first of all, Andre Drummond came and, uh, on Twitter and you know gave uh, you know his goodbye tweet. I guess you could say. Uh, basically, say been loyal to this franchise uh, for the entire time that he been here, and they couldn't even be man enough to get this man the hands up that he was getting traded. So to go on the, the back end of that, Ryan Fields came and uh, finished up pretty much uh, what Drummond was saying by saying the the Cleveland Cavalier, the Cavaliers called at 2.30. The deal was done before 2.40. That's how fast it was. They called deal was done that fast the Pistons didn't even think about it that explains that explains how incompetent <laughs> I mean come on bro you know what I'm saying what were you doing in the first place when Atlanta called you if you holding off then what I mean come on bro like you just bam just done like that Yeah, it's what they wanted, so I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, you know, the whole thing is not the fact that we traded them. Fine, you traded them, but you didn't get shit. You didn't get nothing. That's that's what myself and a lot of, listen, mostly all of Twitter was saying, come on, pisses, you need to make a move. You need to make a move. I was fine with that, but when it happened like this, all of Twitter said, what the fuck, Pistons? What are you doing? Excuse my language. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? For for what we just got. What are you doing? What it what are you doing? Yeah, I knew they was gonna wave them. Um Vincent Goodwill had said that about two hours ago. That he'd probably be the odd man out. But yeah, I mean sh ugh. really? They call at 230 by, by 235, you got a deal done. No heads up, nothing. Wow. Why didn't you make the deal seven days ago? Why didn't you make the deal seven days ago then? If you was going to do something this stupid and take nothing. Like, what the hell? Boy, Detroit franchise has a way to showing other players that could be possible free agents that their organizations aren't worth a goddamn. Andre Drummond putting that tweet out there, people see that. <laughs> they see that, man. If it's any type of way that they can make it known that, you know, they're not worth the shit, they can do it. They can do it. Boy, I tell you. Ugh. <sighs> I hope he beat the shit out the Pistons every time he play them. I hope they go to the playoffs and block the Pistons from advancing in the playoffs. <laughs> I hope that happens. I'ma really be, uh, especially with uh, the drumming gear that I got, I'ma really be keeping that because that, that day is gonna be something. Dirty, dirty ass franchise, man, dirty. Ran by an alcoholic <laughs> that don't give a damn about nothing but LA that wear too much lip gloss. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what a joke, man. And now, you know, you got the stupid crowd that listen to this fool on the radio. Mike Valenti been saying get rid of drumming for two years. Two years, right? They do it, he says, fine. But now he on there clowning the Pistons organization anyway. Like I said before, the man is a Celtics fan. <laughs> so he don't want to see nothing. He want everybody gone. He don't want the Pistons to exist in the Easter Conference if it's up to Mike Valenti. So y'all already know what it is. Now, 
<laughs> he's still finding a way to turn something around and, and cry and complain about it. Yeah, for that garbage, you didn't get nothing. You got zero. You know the Pistons can't pick in the second round, bro. You know we're not about to get no talent in the second round. We're about to get a guy that's sent to the G League and the victim off this roster. Y'all already know that. We get we got zero. Zero. You got screwed. <laughs> and you trust these mugs to to rebuild your franchise? <laughs> you trust this organization, bro. Are you kidding me? You trust this organization is what you telling me. Man. You got another thing coming. You got another thing coming thinking that they're going to rebuild this thing the right way. They not they can't even rebuild. They don't even know how to rebuild. It's almost like a retooling instead of a rebuild. Because you best believe they're going to give Van Bleek that money. Everybody knows it. They're going to give him that money. And like I said, you better get ready for DeMar DeRozan too. All them old flames about to come right to the Pistons. I like Van Vliet, but another small player that's going to get killed by a bigger guards. Same situations over and over and over and over. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Can't even tank right. <laughs> Brandon Knight, man, who we gonna get dunked on this time, y'all? Who gonna dunk on? I hope Drummond dunk on his ass this time. <laughs> Catch a oop and delete him. <laughs> How do you? It's like it went full circle, bro. Full circle, and you got Brandon Knight back. <laughs> Brandon Knight. I, you think I want to sit here and watch the Pistons with Brandon Knight, bro? Are you kidding me? You think I want to see that shit? Man. <sighs> it's about to be so dead. I'm about to start covering other basketball teams simply because the Pistons are a bunch of idiots. Something that I wanted to take my time and gradually get to, I gotta rush into now. I gotta cover other squads now. Because there will be no fan base over the next couple of years or so. So there's no way my channel is gonna grow. So guess what I gotta do? Cover other basketball teams. Which I'm gonna definitely have a pleasure in doing it because I don't want to cover the Pistons. So those 30-20 games, when you see them, when you see drumming, getting 30 20 games because the cavaliers actually got hopping at point guards <laughs> i'll be covering those i'll definitely be covering those they actually have guards there i like the detroit idiots you couldn't even go out and get garland what how what brandon knight brandon knight Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. Y'all about to find out real quick. Yeah, Charles Barker was right, man. <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be fun for y'all. Dog, dog, the future? Are you kidding me? This dude was in the G League probably two years ago. For a reason. It's a reason why Dwayne Casey be cussing his ass out on the sideline too. 
Well, on the other hand, you got a long future. So the future is going to be going on for like the next 10 years anyway. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of future going on. <laughs> Yeah, he can do it all, man, besides play against a center that weighed more than 250 pounds. <laughs> he can do it all. Shoot jump shots and catch some alley-oops. But he ain't defending shit. Pistons about to get destroyed in the inside. Nobody on the team gets steals. Andre was number two in the league in steals, bro, at center. He ain't blocking no goddamn shots unless it's some guard or something. So you can forget that. The paint is open. It's wide open. Y'all already know how this go. Y'all watch the games. The paint is going to be wide open. Blake Griffin going to be sitting there with his his <laughs> tissue knees watching people go right to the hole. <laughs> There's no, no, no. There's no silver lining, man. You're about to get stumped for some years. Especially with that clown's contract still on board. That's about to get more and more expensive. $38 million next year. Man, are you kidding me? This dude is coming off another surgery and another year older next year. He's not about to come back and be a world beater. It's going to be more and more of the same. He already flipped the coin on the wrong side of 30. Stan Van Gundy did y'all something great, boy. He hate us. He hates us. Other teams can get it right, though. You got people like Pat Riley can get it right. You know what I'm saying? Got rid of all that toxic shit he had going on the right way. Not the Pistons. I'd be damned if we could do anything right. That ain't happening. We got to find some way to mess it up, bro. Some way. We have to find some way to mess it up. You came and made the man right. Oh, the Pistons had an offer for Luke Kennard and Andre Drummond from teams, and they're standing firm on what they want. They want to pick it, and, and this, this, and that, and come 2.30 on the trade day, like, hey, you trade Andre Drummond for a bag of Skittles. <laughs> Please explain to me how that makes sense. Please. You had deals on the table. Hell, if that's the case, you should have traded them last year. That, to me, that, to me, says that you're undecisive. You, you don't know what you're doing. You, you can't decide what direction you're really going. What are we doing? Can somebody explain me? Explain what we actually doing? Yes, we could have gotten D'Lo for what they offered. We should have been getting D'Lo. <laughs> they gave them Brandon man. I mean, I, Andrew Wiggins. But, oh my God! And you go out and get Brandon Knight. Duh, come on, man. Let's rebuild. So stupid ass. <laughs> Shit. No, our organizations is dumb. You know they dumb. <sighs> What's up, Vash? Branded night, dog. <sighs> oh boy. Hanson, what? The octopus? What the fuck? Oh, oh. Shit. Man, that's nasty. You got two people that was at the end of the bench dead. Dead. For drumming. You wouldn't have got dead guys for drumming. And a dead pick. <laughs> a dead pick, bro. You couldn't do better than that. When you had previous deals on the table last week. 
that's the case. Shit, Henson could have stayed where he's at. I watched Don Maker go out there and foul all goddamn game. Trying to check somebody. Keep their asses where they was at. Shit. Just let them walk. <laughs> What's up, numbers, man? Boy, it is a lot going on. A lot of DVE, DSA, just not happy right now. I done watched at least about two or three rant videos. I got guys making videos that don't even mess with the Pistons. <laughs> just, just how stupid they are, man. Bro. Pretty much. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty much. It's like, God damn, if you're going to do it, do it right. Do it right. <laughs> if you're going to, you, you can't even tank right. Let alone rebuild right. How many months now? Two or three months? I've been coming on here on my video saying you don't want to trust this team to rebuild. Over and over, I done said that. All your big time Twitter guys, it's like, what the fuck, Pistons? You know what I'm saying? Especially Nick. Nick is like, duh, like, man, you could at least, you could at least got something. Like, what are you doing here? You know what I'm saying? It's no direction. Like, as content creators on YouTube and Twitter, we in the dark. We don't know what the hell y'all doing. Because none of this shit y'all doing makes sense. So what? how am I supposed to come on here and talk to y'all and make sense? You know what I'm saying? I don't have time for that, man. I want to I wanna talk about an intelligent franchise, bro. I'd rather be covering the Clippers right now because they built like I'd rather a team... I would rather a team be built. <laughs> I'd rather cover it up, man, than this dumbass Pistons team. Oh. Good luck. Good luck with bringing a veteran in here. That's uh, actual. Uh, good luck trying to bring a star player in here. You're going to have to be on your knees begging. Every year that some draft pick turns into some type of star because ain't no stars coming here to join them. I'm telling you now. You're not about to go out and sign a star in free agency talking about some, yeah, I want you to come over here and play with a bunch of kids. Good luck with that. You have no appeal whatsoever because it's already Detroit. Man, Blake been done. He was done before he got here. That's why the Clippers got rid of him. They knew the injury was going to come eventually. That's the only reason they seen the man. They said, oh, the Pistons stupid enough to do it. Cool. Cool. Let's send Blake over there. <laughs> Let's send Blake to the Pistons. They the only stupid ass team willing to call to trade for this, this fool. And he finna get ready to make shit north of, 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 of 35 million. <sighs> like I said, man. At least Reggie Jackson, when he was injured, had enough, you know, respect to sit on the bench and be around and, you know, be around the team and talk to this month. This motherfucker, Blake Griffin, ass in California doing comedy shows, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you getting paid all that money, man, you better be sitting your ass at the end of my bench. I don't care if you injured or not. Your ass in California, instead of instead of Blake Griffin being the leader that everyone claims he is, and, and teaching Sekou Demboya, teaching Christian Wood, teaching these young guys, this dude 
I mean, come on, bro. Y'all see this dude? Unit two. Let me get a pen. That'll be another one. This dude in California doing comedy shows. Doing comedy shows. Appreciate you, man, uh, Buckets. And you, Mr. Sullivan. Nah, don't worry about it. I'll find out who he is. Appreciate that, man. Thanks, Pedro. I mean, Dre, uh, Dre was, he was pissed. You know what I'm saying? So he probably put something up there that he felt like he shouldn't have put up there and deleted it. And then he put uh, the other tweets up there. I mean, but like I said, you got to understand this man, mama and sister, all his family, his babies, all of them live here. Get his man a heads up. You know what I'm saying? That pisses players off when you do that. Let me know what direction we going. How hard is that? Exactly. That's what I was just saying earlier, man. Other players see shit like that. That shit gets around the league. And when you got a shit bag or an organization, you see what Richard Sherman just did with the Lions. Just told how, you know, he was, you know, decided not to go to the Lions. Exactly. <laughs> Appreciate y'all, man. Mr. Buck is bravo. What's going on? Thanks, man. Hey, <laughs> said Corona. Yeah, it's more than Corona going on. New strains of, of bird flu, all type of shit going on right now. Yeah, whole everything everything is going on because of Blake. It's Blake's contract. Not because of Blake, but his contract and him not being able to play. Yeah, J Mo. J, J Mo, dog. Like, come on, bro. Like, really? Really? That's what you got? We should have traded him for anything but that. Oh, God, man. Mike, Dwayne, what's up, man? CeeLo, I see all y'all fellas, man. I mean, pretty much everybody is on the same page, especially when it comes to Twitter. Um, You know, the Pistons should have got something. They should have got something. It's not the fact that you traded Dre. I mean, it's it's been long overdue. Because you never did what you needed to do uh, around the guy. So it's been long overdue. And you wasn't going to do it, obviously. But go get something. Get something for him. Not somebody, not two dead players and a worthless pick. <laughs> two hookers and a bag of rice. Uh, they always failed them, bro. They fail every damn body we get here. 
not only failed Drummond, you fell in Derrick Rose. You went out there and played him more minutes than you should and got him hurt. <laughs> he always fell in somebody, bro. You out here trying to win games for no reason. It's fun to watch, but if you was going to do this, I mean, shit. Man, John Henson, bro. Nope, we couldn't get him. We couldn't get Garland. We can't, we can't get, I mean, we couldn't get anything worth anything. Nope, you go get the two deadest guys at the end of the bench and say, come on, let's make this deal. At 2.30, at 2.30, didn't even think about the damn, just did it. Panicking franchises, reminiscing of Stan Van Dummy. <sighs> Let me get my ass out of this car. Appreciate that, George. Every time I see Tobias Harris, I just want to slap the shit out of Stan Van Gundy. Just stupid. Troxel, what's up, man? What's going on, bro? And now we move on to phase two of what I was talking about. Fans sitting there when Andre get with these guards and become who certain people thought he was going to become, that's going to be the fun part because I'm going to rub it in like dog shit in somebody's face. I'm going to rub it all in there. Your franchise is so stupid that they never got no competent players in here. So suffer. Yep. We always get somebody that does something stupid, man. We just not about to stop get, get rid of Josh Smith <laughs> after the season. We about to just not get rid of him. And then you go out and now we stuck with, with uh now we stuck with Blake Griffin's money. Now we stuck with his contract. <laughs> oh man. Yeah man, Luke and I are gonna have to uh he gonna have to get some surgery and get some young guys' knees, man. That dude got 40 year old knees. You're too young to be having tendonitis issues. And... <laughs> man, the Rockets is just dumb, man. <laughs> they about to really try this small ball thing. Some franchises are stupid. Some make moves. Unfortunately, this is more on the stupid side. Yeah. I don't know, man. I know uh, Porzingis got to keep his his long ass nose out the way. You're getting his nose broke.
<laughs> the Detroit Knicks. <laughs> uh, thanks, Buckets, man. Hey, they probably will. <laughs> Look out, y'all. They're going to bring back Greg Moreau, too. <laughs> and Gigi Tatome. We're going to bring back Gigi Tatome, Greg Monroe, and Henry Ellison. There you go. That's what we're going to do. To go along with Brandon Knight, we're going to go get, we're going to go find Brandon Jennings and get him back. We'll be all right. Yep, Bano, Bano running the point guard. <laughs> with Steve Blake backing him up. Just the names that we naming is a joke, bro. <laughs> we had to hold on to these players because it was that bad. You know what I'm saying? When you really sit back and look at it, we had to make fandom of, of bad players, bro. Historically bad guys. We had to make some type of fandom of. Hey, put Sue at center. Ain't nobody getting to the rack, I tell you that. It's going to be flagrant files everywhere. Shit, Calvin Johnson could play center. No, Max Seal. <laughs> Max Seal gonna have half the whole crowd pregnant with his soul. I don't know what's wrong with that dude. Calderon, man. I'm not hungry right now, Neo. Stop bringing up food. <laughs> Nobody wanna hear about Jose Calzone. <laughs> <laughs> he about to get something. I'm about to shank his ass, man. He need his behind wood. That was just idiotic. Oh, I don't do, listen. I don't eat nothing Chinese. Nothing Chinese. I don't even eat Chinese food. I make my own general chicken. What? You can talk what? Yeah, um, I cleaned up your room. Oh, okay, thanks. Welcome. Hey, little boy. You walking around now? Come on, Knight, get down. Knight, move. Uh. What'd you say? Focus. Stucky McCratsaw. Slava. Slava Kratsaw. Damn, I forgot about him, man. Slava Kratsaw. Walter Herman, Carlos Delfino, Flip Murray. Man, I can go on and on. Yeah, man, this little man, he had a fever for the last two days, man. That's why I'm half asleep now. <laughs> yeah, that's right, the Pistons, the Pistons are stupid. Yep, see? He clapping because he know he know the Pistons are stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna show him the way. I'm gonna raise him right. Never trust the Pistons. The other day he said, "Daddy," he said, "What's the Super Bowl?" I said, "I don't know, son. We're lions." <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, 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 <laughs> we don't know what those are. Right, 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 Buckets, right. <laughs> ah, the worst execs, man. We have the worst execs. I don't understand it, man. The worst. Yeah, we about to see now. God, I just hate the fact I was having a good time. Now I gotta sit here and watch the Pistons get they they get the snot beat out of them every night. Kim English, what happened to him? Where is he at? Where's uh, what's my man name, man? What's the name? Uh, Tariko White. Remember Tariko White? 
Tariqo White, Dwan Summers. What happened to them dudes, man? Peyton Siva, uh, what's the name with his jumping out the gym behind? What was his name, man? Light skinned dude. Uh, uh, what's his name, man? Don't bring up Charlie Bill in the way. Uh, <laughs> Tony Mitchell, there. That's what I was talking about. Tony Mitchell, man. I remember that draft. Don't get me going back about these drafts and free agent signings we've done. That just further just expounds on what I've been yeah. saying. You know what I mean? So, Charlie, oh, God. Him and Ben Gordon. I want to shoot Ben Gordon. Bro, LaMelo is not going to be what you think he is. He's going to be good. You don't tank for players like Melo. Nobody said give Drummond to Max. Somebody, somebody got it twisted. Nobody said that. You said get something for him. That's what we said. Be competent enough to get something. No, he did not want the match. That that was something put out there by writers. Assumptions, man. Hey, let me go get this boy together, man. I'll be back on here, y'all. You ready? Come on, we can go eat. 